Hello everyone, before we begin the final segments of Mega Man 8, I just want to quickly touch upon the third power shot upgrade that is available in the shop. I didn't purchase it previous to this, but I, I decided I just wanted to inform everybody what it is, what it does, all that good stuff. It's the auto shot, and what it does is you hold down the buster to charge it up, and at the second stage of the charge, it starts rapidly firing basic pellets as if you had a turbo controller. And um, I don't really... I don't particularly care for this. I think it's not... Um, it's not a very good replacement for the other shots that you have available. It's pretty good for killing big stuff, though. I mean, it, it really is like you have a, a turbo a turbo controller. You know, as long as you're holding down the button, you just keep firing, <clears throat> and that it does loads of damage uh, to you know basic stage enemies. It's no good against bosses, though. And uh, you know, in my opinion, it's just no good in general. I'd rather have one of the other shots. It, it kills things just as efficiently, and it's they're much more efficient, effective, I should say. And I mean, to even make this semi-viable, you should really have the hypercharge so that you can start firing faster. And I guess the five pellet upgrade so that you can spam more, I guess. I don't know. Um, whatever. I, I don't like it very much. And I mean, it completely removes your charge shot. I mean, if you let go of the button, <clears throat> nothing happens. If you charge up to the second or the first like blue glowing charge shot, it, it doesn't do anything. So you're basically handicapping yourself to gain a really shitty turbo button. Anyway, let's get down to business and finish this game. We're on the very last stage of Wily's Castle. It's just boss fights from here on out. And as I said previously, I'm going to do the refights with the, uh, the weapons. I'm using the weaknesses this time to show the differences in the fights. Oh, let's um let's get rid of auto shot. First up is Tango Man. His weakness is Ice Wave, which um you know it travels along the ground, so um it's kind of it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Oh yeah, that was that was pro. That was excellent. Let's try that again. I've only been fighting this guy for like ten years. I don't know why I'm still getting hit by those attacks. Okay, there he goes. You can hit him about two or three times with the ice wave if he uses that charge attack. Otherwise, um, you know. You might as well just use the buster. Keep ice wave out, you know, in case he decides to lunge at you. But, uh, you know, sometimes he doesn't really do it that often. And here's Clown Man, his weakness is the, tor the tornado hold. 
And this is, um... <clears throat> this is another situational weapon. If you use it when he's on the trapeze, then it really messes him up. It stuns him. <clears throat> if you use it when he's not on the trapeze, then it's just... It just damages him. He won't get stunned. Also, you want to pick up those health uh, things really quick, because they disappear pretty, pretty fast. Um, here is Frostman. His weakness is the Flash Bomb. And this is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> All you have to do is just spam it at him. Remember, you can fire two at once. And occasionally he'll get, like, hurt by it. Like, uh, stunned, I should say. I mean, obviously he's getting hurt, but sometimes he'll, like, jump backwards and cry. And, like, hold his face in his hands. Astro Man is really funny to um, use the weakness against him. Basically, you can just spam him to death, and there's nothing he can do. Um, yeah, that was pathetic. It's worth mentioning that if you use the homing sniper while he's doing his torni uh, not tornado, um, astro crush teleporting thing, it'll stop the astro crush from um, initiating. And if you just continue holding down, while you're locked on to Astro Man, he won't do anything. He'll just stand there and freak out. Or, uh, float there. And freak out. Sword Man is weak Nothing to the Water else, Balloon. But I've got orders. And this is another really situational weapon. You can hit him normally with it. But um, watch out for a certain move that he uses. It's a big, it's the big fire tornado. Not this. I want to see if he'll use it, so I can show you. You have to hit him like in the upper torso as well. See, his legs are just immune to it. Oh. Also, he'll be immune to the water balloon when he's doing, like, the spin attack. There we go. Use the water balloon on him when he's doing that move, and he'll get stunned. Aquaman is weak to Astro Crush, and this is really straightforward. The problem with this fight is that uh, you only have four Astro Crush shots, and that's not going to be enough to actually, um, you know, kill him. So you should, uh, you know, keep your Buster handy.
Yeah. No problem. Search Man, my absolute least favorite fight, regardless of whether I'm using the Buster or not. He's weak to the Flame Sword. And a good thing to remember in this fight is that um, when he goes into the bushes like this, the Flame Sword has a wide enough hitbox that it can actually hit two bushes at once if you position yourself just right. Otherwise, you know, just keep hitting him with it. <clears throat> as fast as you can. I think it, it can also destroy those like spinning, bouncing things that he shoots. So keep that in mind. And uh, Grenade Man is probably my favorite weakness fight. It's another situational thing. Okay, I'm doing just awful. There, if you shoot his flash bombs with the whip, you'll actually throw them back at him. Let's see if I can get an extra life here with uh, the rush item. Oh well. Say hello to my cute bomb. I'm just so bad at dodging that rush move. All these bosses have like dash moves. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, sometimes you just get unlucky with uh, the whip. Yeah, try to hit his flash bombs back at him and just spam him to death. So the refights are done. All we have to do now is go and fight Dr. Wily, and that'll be the end. I'm going to split the video here, so I have enough time for um, the upcoming fight and the credits and all that. So I will see you soon.